Matrix M Track Theft Recovery Operation. It's Monday, the 18th of May, 2020. So we took a call yesterday, Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, from a plant hire company based in Wales, advising us they'd had one of their Bomag rollers stolen. It's a ride-on roller, a one meter, 100 unit, uh, valued between 10 and 15, maybe 16,000 pound, depending on condition. So this was taken from a site, a uh, work site near Cardiff, and um, we've sent a signal yesterday late afternoon to connect with the Automatrix M track and put it into alarm. And that was reporting a cell site just towards the southeast of Cardiff, well, east side of Cardiff. And um, we tried to get a GPS position, nothing coming through. Normally these rollers are hidden in the back of like a transit van or a Mercedes Sprinter van. We're gonna to have to do a radio find at that location. It's just gone 8.30 in Monday morning, so probably about a two hour journey. Uh, we've got some good weather. The last recovery we did in Wales was about 18 hours, and I'm hoping that we won't be that long uh, this time round, obviously. So the issue we had there was that we were in the um, Welsh Valleys. In Cardiff, we should be a lot better, so the cells should be much closer together. So I'm not expecting anywhere near the amount of problems we had before. So we'll be looking to get there, like I say, just before midday. We've got some good contacts in the Welsh Police that we're going to call directly so we don't need to call 101. We can call a team that we worked with on the last recovery and uh, hopefully they'll send a couple of officers. So I've taken um, a call uh, literally 10 or 15 minutes ago from South Wales Police, a guy called Gavin. Uh, he's a specialist plant unit officer and he's arranging for some police officers to meet with us at a target area near the cell site. Now, this cell site is quite near a traveller's site in Cardiff and they've had some issues with that site before um, and their intelligence is telling them that most likely this Bone Mag 100 roller is close proximity to the traveller's site. So it's virtually um, similar, very similar postcode to what we've got from the cell site. So it makes sense to go and check that out first. And um, we're probably gonna meet up with a couple of officers, just need to call Gavin a few moments before we come into Cardiff and then they'll arrange for the officers to meet up with us. Not sure if we're gonna take two cars or we're gonna have to transfer the radio equipment into the police vehicle, but um, it's good to have backup and we won't be waiting for the police today, all being well, so that's good. Now I've been talking to um, chaps in the office and uh, what we think we're gonna do is head to our cell site location uh, with the roof antenna, do a quick sweep in that area and double check we don't pick up the signal at the main mask location and then head to the postcode that the police have asked us to rendezvous with them. Nice dragon I want to catch here. We're at the roundabout to meet with the police, they're already here. So they, what they want me to do is jump in that van with them. So I'm going to do that and sort this out and then we get on our way. Hiya. How you doing? All right, not too bad. I've been down here three times in the last four weeks. Have you? Exactly the same thing. There's only two places that we've ever found them on there because they don't want them attributed to their plots. No, so they hide them a bit so down the road got, a bit. Well, no. As soon as we go in on the right, there's a, like an electricity box, which is a, a brick building. Yeah. We've had two in here now. That And then the second time last week, um, or the week before, under tarpaulin. Okay. A pile of stuff and then lifted the tarpaulin. There was this excavator. Is that what you're looking for? No, as well? it's a, it's a Bone Mag 100 roller. Oh, it's a roller. Is yeah, it? so okay. it, could, it could be if it's not in that building or where you think it might be, it might be in the back of a white transit van or something like that. Because they often they hide them in vans as well. Right, it's that small, is it? It, it can go in the back of a white van, big... so they can wheel it in. So I'll just get my handheld receiver then, and I'll come in with you in that vehicle, yeah? Yeah, it's on a van anyway. So you won't be long now. You can't get any evidence on the kit or nothing. You... To be honest with you... Crazy, isn't it? They're not learning because they can't, they can't hide them anywhere. This might be a little bit different if it can go in the back of a van. Yeah. Because the, the van might not be there. Well, often the van's nicked as well, so when I found quite a few in the back of vans, so that was what I was expecting. But. You know, you know the local area, so we go with yeah, your intel. We'll we we'll go, go yeah, okie dokie, yeah. Just said there, they've sat, they've found three machines here in the last few days, so um, hopefully they just we just go straight to this location, pick up the RF, and that'll be it. Obviously, the roll is smaller. They've been finding excavators and things, so yeah. But it just carries on day after day. So let's see what happens. Down 
you they fucking No, I haven't been, no, they've just pulled straight into Tesco, so I haven't been in. No, no. Yeah, signal that. That'll be it. Single. Yeah. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? <laughs> you don't think that's worth 15 grand, would you? Oh. Hey? It is mad. Even when they're a few years old like that, they're still worth 14, 15 grand. I guess the soil must have. They've gone around, I reckon. Yeah. I'm just going to check the serial number on the side, just. Ends 1699, I think. Yeah, 169. Good job it's engraved there, isn't it? It's a bit rusty on there. No keys. Have they done any? Can I just see if they've done any damage? Have they done? Yeah. Just oh, they've had that little panel out there, relay panel. Do you need the customer to bring the key then now, or what? Yeah, we're going to need one, anyway. Yeah? The I'll, 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 I'll give them a call. The problem is with this, you'll have a lot of issues with, with companies recovering to come on you, they won't come on you. No. Because of the, the insults and the problems they get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you take the fence now and chuck it on the back, yeah? Do you know what you can do yet? You can chuck the fence down or I don't know yet. Yeah. Check. Check how many symptoms got in there. So we're literally just outside this traveller's site here. The objective is if it's got a decent tracking system on it, you find it. Simple as that, really. Yeah, just he's just calling me back. He's only a couple of minutes away, but he ain't. He's got to see if one of his lads have got a key. Otherwise, he's got to go back to the other yard to find it. So, all being well, one of his lads will have a key. Yeah, so what they're going to do to get this roller out is um, cut the door off.
sounds like it's got an immobiliser on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Fuel. Might need to move those chairs, he's going to swing round there and come backwards. Got it going, yippee. Will it get through the gap? I said you'd go there. So they've held up all the traffic so they can get this roller out. They're taking that down the road, it's gone. Yeah, I got it in the end now. Until the next time then, yeah? <laughs> you can guarantee that. <laughs> so that was a nice find there. Um, pretty straightforward. The police had a rough idea at that location. As soon as we got the phone mast position, um, it covered that traveller site. No forensics, uh, no arrests, unfortunately. So the police have been told just to recover the equipment, keep things cool with the travellers and um, get back out of that site and get the equipment back to the owners. I mean, it's good on one hand because obviously they, they've gone in there, eight, eight or nine officers there today and recovered that machine with us. Brilliant, um, all done pretty quickly. Even a couple of fitters came out and they had to bypass the wires that had been cut because it had been immobilised and they sorted that out as well, that was good. South Wales Police just really unsure what to do here because this is a big problem for them. Stolen plant in this area. I think they know who's involved but it's just a case of quite catching them you know, and having the evidence sort of thing. Um, but we've done our job, I've taken a call from our customer, he's, he's well happy, he's had three three machines recovered in the last six weeks and um, that's what he expects, that's what we gave him, so that's all good. We got a radio signal to help us and um, as soon as we jumped out of the police vehicle, uh, we had that RF straight away and it took us straight there, just, uh, just literally like clockwork, fantastic. Nothing else there, just a, just a right bowl mag roller, so um, that's all we've got today, So, but that's good enough. Hope everyone's keeping well and we'll catch up with you later. Crack it.